It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna show you how to turn in your Unity projects. We're gonna use Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm going to open up a new Safari window and I'm going to type in Screencast-O-Matic. This is a free recording software that you can use to record video of your desktop. So I'm gonna click on Start Recording. I'm gonna click Launch Free Recorder. I'm gonna click on Allow. I'm gonna click OK. It would like to access the microphone. You can see this is the actual screen recorder. I can record from the screen, a webcam, or both. What I wanna do is play my game and record my game. So I'm gonna make this pretty big so I can see my game as big as I can make it. You always want to make sure you add your name into this. So over in my projects, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna do 3D object. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna select 3D text. You can see a new text object is created. I'm just gonna call it my name. I am going to change this from hello world to Jamie Gant period two. If you look in my project here, you can see it's facing the wrong way. I wanna rotate this. So make sure that you're able to show your name. I'm gonna click on the rotate tool up here and I wanna rotate it this way so I can see it. And it looks very fuzzy. The reason is I need to update the size. You can see the font size is zero. So let's just make it 50. Now you can see it's way too big, but I can use my scale tool. And you can see my scale tool is right here. I'm simply going to scale it down so it's a little bit more sharp. And then again, I can use my move tool to move it to where I want it to, I want it to be. So I'm gonna move my name somewhere here. I might want it over the character. And then I'm gonna play my game. But before I play my game, I actually want this text to follow this character. So I'm gonna to have to embed this text inside the character. So this is my character. You see player minifig. I'm simply gonna drag my game object, my name. I'm gonna put that into whatever you want it to follow. So now if I click on player minifig, if I move this, you should see it will move with me. So now let's go ahead and record our game so we can actually turn it in. I'm going to press play here. So here's my game. You can see it is working. I'm gonna press tab to pause it. Now I'm gonna come back here and press record. Three, two, one, it's going to record my screen. It is currently recording my screen. I'm going to click done and now let's play our game. So I'm gonna go you're gonna walk through the game so I can see there's stuff over there that I built in this tutorial. I'm going to blow up that wall. You can see I did that. Now I need to get all of these. So you're simply going to go through, the video is currently recording. and play the game that you have just created. And you can see my text is following along. And you can see I lost because I have a 60 second timer, but I wanna see that your game is actually working. So now I'm gonna press stop here it recorded a minute of me playing the game. I'm gonna press done. And then I'm gonna do save and upload. This screen will pop up, name it my assignment. So this is Lego micro game. Make sure you name it the name of whatever your current assignment is. Then I'm gonna do save file. And make sure you press enter on the name. That way the file name changes. Select the location you want to, and then you're gonna select, select publish. And there you go. Now I have this actual video and I can actually browse. There's my video. This is the assignment that you would upload. So let's just watch it. You can see here is that video using Screencast-O-Matic. I know the sound will not work using the free version of Screencast-O-Matic. Do not worry about the sound. 
I'm more interested in seeing that you've actually completed this. So if I press play, so there you go. All of our VR games and apps that we build, you're going to use Screencast-O-Matic to record yourself actually playing the game and then submit this video as your assignment 